we'd set up on this ace structure. Uh, we'd already done one. We were setting up on a second one for the day. Uh, fairly easy day. Uh, we were working out of buckets. We weren't even climbing. Uh, all I can think of, because I don't really remember, is I must have put my hand, and by the burns on my fingers, I can, I'm guessing I put my hand on the bolt just to get a lift to kind of, you know, I'm guessing to, so I could see it or maybe I couldn't reach the wire. I don't really know uh, after I had my contact. Uh, I just got locked up and uh, I don't really remember it. Uh, I don't remember the rest of that day. Uh, I really don't remember the next two days, bits and pieces here and there. But uh, the crew, they were, uh, they were quick to respond. My pole buddy uh, up in the bucket said, you know, right away, all of a sudden I was quiet. And I was never quiet when we're working. And uh, he asked me a question and I didn't respond. Uh, he asked again because it, it looked like I was working and he wasn't sure whether I was focused on something or something was wrong. And uh, when I didn't answer him the second time, he knew something was wrong and he swung the bucket. And when uh, he swung the bucket, that broke my contact and I just dropped in the bucket. But uh, because we had the AD, and the crew knew what they were doing. And we'd been trained in it over and over every year. Uh, we went through a refresher. And, uh, you know, these guys were locked in. They knew what they were doing. Uh, the majority of the people on this crew have been working together for 13 years. And they, uh, they were spot on. I was the newest guy to the crew. I'd been there a year. And they, uh, they made sure I made it home. You know, they got that AED on me. Started CPR right away. Uh, you know, the bucket rescue procedure with using the bucket hooks and whatnot, they just yanked me out. I'm a 240 pound guy, and they just yanked me out of the bucket and got me down. Took real good care of me. Um, as soon as the paramedics got there, the first thing they did was call a helicopter. They couldn't believe, one, that I was I was thrashing and, and, and alive, and, and two, that, I, you know, that we even had an AED on site. They, that kind of blew their mind that our company gave us AEDs. And it's a great thing they did. Uh, they called in the, the helicopter, got me out, got me to the burn unit, uh, took care of my injuries, and uh, you know stabilized me on the way and made sure that, that I got to see my wife and my kids again. And uh, you know, that, that, that says a lot about the brotherhood in this trade and uh, how tight it is and, and how we care for each other. And we have to because when you're in a remote location or, or even just working in the backyard, there's no one else that's going to take care of you. You know, we count on each other to get ourselves down off the pole should there be a contact or an injury. Uh, fire and rescue, they, they won't make that rescue. Uh, they count on us to get them down and they'll take it from there. So uh, you have to have all your tools. You have to have you know, your rubber protection, you got to have your wits, and you, you know, you need the proper tools, and an AED is a proper tool. And I, I'm just so proud uh, of London Hydro for, for taking this step and investing in this tool for their crew. And, and I really, you know, uh, I can't say enough about the importance of maintaining your equipment, but when you do, giving somebody the opportunity to go home. I mean, it can be a, a heart attack on the crew or it can be in a contact. And when your heart goes into defib, the only thing that's going to take it out is an electrical shock. And the AED is the one tool that will give that to you. And our company made the investment in safety. And I think it is great that other companies are starting to follow suit now. And uh, I can't stress enough the value of that AED and, and using it as the tool it was meant to be. Uh, I'm really happy to see you have the proper tools and uh, I'm hoping none of you have to go through what I went through, but if you do, it's nice to know that AED is there to give you a chance to go home.